This is a 30 degree offset bend with four inches in height. It jumps up four inches off the wall. And this is 30 degrees and this is 30 degrees. So I first cut this at 40 inches in length and then made the bends. But if you like, you can make the bends and then cut the conduit. But you need to know about shrinkage. 30 degrees, the shrink is one quarter inch per inch. So we have a four inch 30 degree offset. So four times a quarter inch is one. So if you like, you can cut this conduit at 39 inches once you're done, or you can cut it at 40 inches before you bend, and it comes out exactly the same. So let's get started. You don't want any dog legs, okay? And this has to be straight. This goes one direction, that goes the same direction, okay? This can't go, we're going that way or that way, and we're gonna do a little measurement at the end to make sure. I've measured it here at 40 inches, for the conduit and I've put the conduit into my bender like that to uh, stabilize it. And then you have to ream out the conduit. So now we have a 40 inch piece of conduit right here and there's two measurements you have to make on it. We're gonna have a six inch tail. So you have to measure in six inches. This is arbitrary. Now, we're, we're gonna, you have to make another mark right here. The distance between these two marks is very, very important. So let's discuss it a little bit. This is what we're concerned with right here, is 30 degrees. These are multipliers, and this is the shrinkage. So we won't worry about the other degree bends right now. But for 30 degrees, your multiplier is 2.0. So, when you're doing a four inch offset, you multiply that four inches by two, and you get eight. So you're gonna have eight inches between the bands. So our first mark was at six inches. The second mark is gonna be at 14 inches because the multiplier is two, and our height of the offset is four. And you can use this if you like. You can cut your conduit after you've made the bands you just got to take off uh, four, which is four inches in height of offset times one quarter. So you got to take off an inch. You would cut your conduit at 39 inches instead of 40 inches. It comes out exactly the same. I have put the arrow of my bender right on the first mark. That's the six inch mark. And I'm going to bend this to 30 degrees on the ground. I'm going to put the conduit on the ground and I'm going to make my first bend Right here, the handle's nice and straight. That's a 30 degree bend. Okay, okay, now I gotta get this nice and straight. See, I've got my arrow right there on the line. And you have to get this nice and straight. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and put my boot on the handle of the bender. Right about that far, and I'm gonna go down on the ground. Put this right down on the ground, and you just want to get this nice and straight. See, we've got nice, and that's 30 degree offset right there. So, okay, now you put your conduit with the 30 degree offsets on it uh, on a straight edge, and you have to measure here, that's right on four inches. And you measure right there, that's right on four inches. So this one's good. There you go. There's a 30 degree offset. I'll put links in my video description for the ideal EMT benders, both in aluminum and in ductile iron and of various sizes. And I'll put links for various hacksaws and reamers. And if you'd like to speed up the process of cutting the EMT, I'll put links for four different brands of band saws. That'd be the DeWalt with the five inch mouth, the Milwaukee cordless bandsaw with a three and a quarter inch mouth, and the Makita 
and the Bosch bandsaws, both of which have two and a half inch mouths. And I'll put a link for my playlist for EMT bending, which now has 24 videos. So that's like a complete library of EMT bending. And I'll put a link for my playlist for bandsaws, which has videos about DeWalt, Milwaukee, Makita, and Bosch bandsaws. So I hope this video was helpful. Thanks. Mm -hmm.